Hey. Density and relative density. Liquids first. To calculate density, we measure mass, volume, and divide the first by the second. I do it here with water. For units, I will have milliliters with a graduated cylinder, and, for mass, the scale gives me grams. I calculate the density of water by dividing, therefore, the mass by the volume. The symbol is the letter O, from the Greek alphabet. The density, therefore, if I divide 40 by 40, in grams per milliliter, that gives 1. For the density, in grams per cubic centimeter here, I framed it, because that's what we generally use. You will see that this is useful for switching from density to relative density. So the relative density of water. The relative density of a substance, solid or liquid, is measured, expressed in relation to water. It is the ratio of its density to the density of water. So without unity. If we divide two densities, there will be no unit. And for water, it becomes simple, since it is the density by itself. Therefore, the relative density is necessarily equal to 1. For ethanol, ethyl alcohol, I will assess the density first. with the exact same technique. Here I poured 40 milliliters to make 31.5 grams. I calculate, with the same formula, 31.5 over 40, that gives me 0.79 grams per milliliter. So for the relative density, relative density is the formula I gave earlier, if I divide the density of ethanol by that of water, as that of water is equal to 1. It becomes simple. Relative density has the same value as its density. So D equals 0 0.79. Warning. There, it must be in grams per cubic centimeter. In grams per milliliter or in kilograms per liter. For dichloromethane. Will its density be lower, as for ethanol? Or, on the contrary, greater than that of water? By pouring 40 milliliters here, I estimate the density of dichloromethane by dividing 53.2 mass by volume. My favorite calculator gives me 1.3. And for the relative density, if you understand, that means that its relative density is 1.3. 
What about solids? We can do an experiment here, with a brass object. Brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. I know its mass since it is written on it. 100 grams. I have 80 milliliters of water at the moment. And if I let this marked mass drop in the graduated cylinder, the level rises to 92. It therefore increased by 12 milliliters. It's the same formula. 100 G is the mass of 12 cubic centimeters of brass. I find 8.3 grams per cubic centimeter. Well, I'll make you work a little bit. To find rho, What if we ask you to find the mass M? What if you were asked to find the volume based on the other two? Do you have it? That's it for this video. Thank you, 